In this video, we're gonna talk about the Content Aware Move tool in Photoshop. And there are two basic options to this, the Move and the Extent. And we're gonna talk about both of those in this video. The Move allows you to select and move a part of a picture. And basically, Photoshop will recompose the image that you move, and it will also fill in the hole that you leave behind. And the nice thing about it is you really don't have to do a lot of complex editing. This tool is very, very useful if you're trying to do some quick moves and altering of your images. Now, the other part is the Extend. The Extend allows you to expand objects, and it works very well against trees or architectural objects, objects such as columns or buildings. And we'll talk about this option in a few minutes. So let's go ahead and open up an image that we can work against. And we're gonna work against this image of this baby turtle. And what we wanna do essentially here is select our baby turtle and then move it to the bottom right of this picture. But before we do that, let's go ahead and create an empty layer because as always, we wanna be non-destructive. So make sure that you have the mode set to move. Make sure under the healing brushes, you have the content aware move tool selected. We're gonna leave these options at four. The color I rarely change. I almost always leave that at four. But the structure option you might want to play around with a little bit and I'll explain this basically this has to do with the type of background that you're working against in terms of the object that you're moving now if you take a look at this background this isn't very precise so you probably could bump the number down a little bit now if you had a very precise background for instance if you had a building with a lot of sharp angles and straight lines you would want to bump this up because basically it will retain the pixels almost as they are the higher you bump this up but again we're just going to leave both of these options at four now since we created a layer we want to sample against all layers if we didn't have this selected we would just be working against our empty layer and we would have really nothing to move so we want to work against all of our layers and that's what the sample all layers accomplishes transform and drop i almost always you keep this selected. We may talk about this in a later video, but for now we can just keep this selected. Again, I rarely deselect this. Now with the content aware move tool, the default selection tool that it uses is the lasso tool right here. Now for objects such as buildings, you may want to use the polygonal lasso tool. That allows you to draw straight lines. And we'll talk about this in a future video, the polygonal lasso tool. But for now, we're just going to go ahead and use the default lasso tool. So let's go ahead and draw around our baby turtle. And you can just move right around the outside of the turtle. You don't have to cut this in too closely. There we go. Now let's go ahead and pick up the baby turtle and move it to the bottom right of the photograph. And then once we release the mouse, you notice we get this box here. And I'll talk about this in a few minutes. But let's go ahead and hit accept. And you'll notice now that Photoshop filled in the hole that we left behind and it moved our turtle. Now, if we go ahead and turn off the visibility for our background layer, you can see here now we're just looking at our empty layer. And it'll actually show you the hole that was left behind and filled in, as well as what we moved. So that's useful if you want to see the edits that you did to your photo. Let's go ahead and turn the visibility back on. And we'll now go ahead and open up a new photo. And we don't need to actually save anything here. And I'm going to go ahead and open up this image of the hot air balloon. Now, what we want to do with this hot air balloon is we're going to go ahead and use the move option again. But what we want to do here actually is scale down the size of this balloon and then rotate it. So let's go ahead and lasso around our hot air balloon. And you don't need to cut this in too closely, as I mentioned before. Now, let's go ahead and move it to the bottom right here, right down here. And then what you see is we get this box. Now, if you hover over the left corner here, you're going to get this corner handle. Now, if you hold down the shift button and then start minimizing the image, it will actually retain the aspect ratio of the balloon as we decrease the size. So let's go ahead and hit the shift button and you can see it's keeping the proper aspect ratio. So take a look at that. So now we've reduced the size of the image and let's move this up a little bit. Now, there's another handle that we get as well and that's the arc arrow. So let's go over here to the right and move a little bit farther out and you'll notice now we get this arc handle and this allows us to rotate the balloon so let's go ahead and rotate it a little bit here and now let's go ahead and hit the accept button and take a look at that photoshop did a great job and again we really don't have to do a lot of editing here with just a few simple mouse clicks we drastically alter this balloon okay so now let's move on and take a look at the extend option the second option right here so let's go ahead and select that and actually we're going to go ahead and open up a new photo and as I mentioned before, the extend option works really well against architectural objects. And it works even better when objects are not at a severe angle. And these kind of are right in front of us and are somewhat parallel to us. Now, if this column was at a severe angle, the extend, again, doesn't work quite as well. So let's go ahead and we're just going to lasso right around the edges here. 
Now I found in working with this tool, the shorter the movements, the better. You don't want to really do long exaggerated movements because that tends to distort the extent. So what we're going to do here is just move this up a little bit. We'll hit accept and take a look at that. You would be hard pressed to notice that we extended that column. Photoshop did a really great job. So go ahead and play around with this. Maybe work against some of these other columns so you can get a sense of how the extend works. Okay, that's going to do it for this video.